In this video, I'm going to be going through the process of how to recreate the drainage and utilities DGN libraries. You might need to do this for different reasons. One reason being that you originally created this file as a joint drainage and utilities DGN lib, and you want to separate them out into different files. Or maybe the opposite, where you originally started out with separate files, and later you decide you want to merge them into one. Whichever the reason, the process is going to be the same. We'll start by creating a new file. This new file is going to use a 2D seed file. And then we're going to, in this example, merge the two together into one. So this is going to be drainage and utilities, features, annotations, element templates, levels, text favorites, and item types. All right. first thing we want to do is remove any coordinate systems in the file. And then we're going to go to the drainage and utilities workflow. And we're going to use one of the tools so that we can create a drainage and utilities project in this file. All right, so doing that is going to copy any storm data, catalogs, prototypes. Also going to copy the default design constraints, any custom flex tables or queries scenarios, alternatives, options, basically everything on the hydraulic or you know, analytic side of drainage and utilities. Now as for the levels, the feature definitions, element templates, we're going to need to manually copy those in ourselves. So we want to start at the base level with a level. And we're going to manage our levels and import from the files that we want to bring the levels from. So in this case, I'm going to import from the drainage, and then I'll repeat this for utilities. All right, so I want to have all of these except for the default level, and bring those in, and then I'll repeat the process for utilities. I'll do a quick check, make sure that those came in. There are all my drainage and utilities. Right, next, I want to bring in my element templates. Right, before I can bring those in from another file, well, there's a couple of ways I could do this. I could go into the files where the element templates live, and I could export them out to an XML. And then I could import them in through an XML into this file. I can also do a direct copy. So I can come down here and I can copy the stormwater folder from drainage and paste it. And I can do the same thing for communications, gas, electrical, and water. This modeling folder actually is, it belongs inside of one of the other DGN lips, but it is because I'm using it inside of one of these features, it's copied it into the file. All right, now that I have the element templates, I'm going to go and copy in my symbologies. Now a trick here, I believe if we copy the feature definitions first, all of the symbologies that are being used will come along with it. All right, so we're gonna go into our workspace files and we'll go under Feature Definitions, and we'll start with Drainage, and I'll go under Drainage Utilities, go under Stormwater, and I'm gonna copy all of these. Now, if they're large folders, you're going to want to do them one at a time. These don't have a lot of features in them, so I feel comfortable doing them all at once. So now I'll come down to my Conduit Feature Definitions under Stormwater, and I'll paste those in. So let's do a quick check. And do see that the symbology came with them. So if I go down and check my symbologies, notice that those symbologies are also copied in. So that saved me a step by going directly to the feature definition. Also notice when I did that, if I go back into my element templates, I now have that modeling folder. So it saw that in the symbologies that it was actually using this intersecting profile element template. So it knew it needed to copy it in to this folder.